the eerie silence of a post-apocalyptic world. This is Pripyat. Back in 1986, the town was just 16 years old. The average age of its population was 28 and most people worked at the nearby Chernobyl nuclear power plant. And then, on April 26th, an experiment went wrong and disaster struck. It was the biggest nuclear accident in history, producing a cloud of radioactivity 200 times greater than the atomic bomb on Hiroshima. Well, this is the town Pripyat. It was its city center. Roughly around 50,000 people lived here. This is their palace of culture, while here behind me was a hotel. Just imagine 50,000 people were living here in this town and of course hundreds of children playing around here. Now it's desolate, it's empty and it is ghost town. With only a few adventurous tourists roaming the streets today, Pripyat may be one of the loneliest places in the world. Back in 1986, many Soviet workers and soldiers were rushed to contain the disaster. They had an ominous name, liquidators. Back then, in 1986, some people asked me, why are you going there? I replied, I'm going as well as other guys to save your children and other children from this plague, from radiation. Thousands and thousands of Soviet men and women fought world's largest nuclear accident. Today, that fighting continues, but it has a bit different face. A major international endeavor has now put this 108-meter-high structure over the old Chernobyl sarcophagus. The basic role of this construction is to protect the nearby environment from radioactive dust which exists on the primary sarcophagus. Its role also is to allow further work on the demolition of the construction skeleton on the primary sarcophagus. This is the house that Maria and Ivan had to flee back in 1986. Year after, they illegally returned to their village of Kukovate on the outskirts of Chernobyl. They're lucky ones and they've had no health problems. They were taking my blood samples for three years. I asked them, how is my blood? What does the analysis say? I'd like to know. And they responded, in the beginning it was contaminated, but now everything's normal. You don't have anything now. Nothing more will happen to you. The winter sun sets on the village of Kukovate, but it will take tens of thousands of sunsets before people can freely return to live in this area. Alyosha Milenkovic, CCTV, Pripyat, in Chernobyl Exclusion Zone.